over here. Just a girl in a parking lot full of a bunch of men with a fishing boat. No pressure. Let's do this. This was my first time going out on my own. All because Lance thought I would enjoy it. I knew to expect some hiccups. I mean, I don't know about you, but the first time I try something, it never goes as smooth as it did in my head. As you can see, our boat floats when it hits the water, so I thought I'd tie a rope to the trailer and to the boat so it wouldn't float away. Well, it worked. Until it didn't. My nerves began to run a little high when I realized my boat was balancing on the trailer. I tried to pull it off using the rope, and that didn't work, so I thought, okay, well, maybe I can pull the trailer out from underneath it, and the boat would just kind of hang back. Yeah, that didn't work either. Fully believing that falling into the water would surely be my demise, I decided to risk the biscuit and balance on my slippery trailer and just push the boat off. Okay, all right, that worked. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, now I'm taking up two spots of the landing. So far, I was not scoring any points. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone at the landing was very kind and patient with my stubborn determination. And thanks to Matt, hopefully a new friend, I was able to get on the river to my next challenge, finding the fish. The lesson I had to learn here, it's okay to accept help when people are offering it. Okay, I just need to take a beat there. I just need a second. This is where I'm gonna start fishing, but uh, I need a second, because as you saw, that was chaos. That was complete chaos. I have never taken the boat out without Lance. I've never backed it out like that. I've um, never had to be solely responsible for everything. You know, the keys, the everything that, that we do together, I've never done alone. And so that was an experience. <laughs> Thankfully, I got a little bit of help. Many people offered, so that was very sweet of them. But I was quite stubborn in the beginning of like, no, if I don't do this myself, I won't figure it out. And uh, I'm not really embarrassed. I'm a little embarrassed, but I'm also not because it's my first time doing everything. So this is kind of how it goes the first time that you do something. And I want that to be realistic, especially for you women who want to get out here and do this on your own. Yeah, there is going to be a few hiccups. There's going to be a few obstacles. You're going to have a few moments of like, this is an utter effing disaster. But the more you do it, the better it's going to get. So here we are. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good day. Woo. I'm overly cautious about this sand. The last thing I want is to be sitting on top of it. I can't take any more humble pie today. It'd be nice if we could switch this up to cherry. I think I understand now when he says that fishing by himself is exhausting. It's just so much. There's so much to remember and so much to do. And then if one thing goes wrong, it's like, ah! Like suddenly everything's going wrong. Just gotta hit that reset button. Just gotta keep trucking. Sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. You just gotta keep moving. I guess, I guess the reason I'm not embarrassed about what happened this morning is because people are going to say what they want to say regardless of how well you're doing. And at least I'm out here doing it. I'm out here trying to figure it out. Hello, I just thought I would check in. I could feel you panicking still. You haven't gotten much work done today, have you? Good. Uh, well, do you want the version that helps you to sleep at night or do you want reality? Okay, it's been rough. <laughs> I uh, 
got the boat to the landing and got in the boat to grab something, went to crawl out of the boat, fell out of the boat. And then I tied the rope because I was going to have the rope connected to it so that the boat wouldn't float away on its own, putting it in the water. But the rope wasn't long enough. Yeah, couldn't get the, the couldn't get the boat off the trailer all the way. Like it was kind of it was just kind of like balancing no matter and then like the current would just keep trying to put it horizontal to the trailer. So that was fun. I get every okay, I'm like everything's done, trucks back, I'm in the boat, everything's good, and I untied myself from the dock. That was not smart because I didn't have the keys to the boat. So I was like, I'll just get the trolling motor, right? I'll put the trolling motor down and I'll get back to the dock. Couldn't get the trolling motor off. So I came back, had the keys, all was good, got the motor up, got in the boat, took off, and I just haven't caught anything since. Everything looks so different without you out here. It's like, I don't recognize anything. And then there's so much to pay attention to, the little currents in the lake and the trees and where to fish and I'm sweating balls. It's going great. Fishing is so much fun. Okay, bye, I love you. I'm just learning all of the uh, hard truths of being a lone angler on the water all by myself just all by myself. just playing just just playing with you all right this looks too juicy not to try and since I haven't gotten anything yet I reckon it's time for a Hail Mary. Oh! Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, yes! yes. <laughs> My drag is set too loose! Come on! Come on, buddy! <laughs> It's a sheep head. Oh my gosh. I have not caught one of these in so long. Hey, do you mind if I jump in quick? Okay, at this point, I had been fishing for just over four hours and I had caught nothing. I was trying different lures and baits, but it was the Liquid Willow Cat's fat swimmer that started bringing fish into the boat. This is a sheep head. <laughs> hey, I did it. I got my fish. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, the last time I caught a sheephead was like forever ago and it made this like pig noise and uh, that's how I remember them. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to ask Lance uh, when I get home, but I'm going to get him back in the water because it's hot out here. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, thank you. You made this little fisherwoman's day. Boop. That was, that was the rush I needed. That was just, after everything I've been through today, that was exactly what I needed, was to catch that big old fish. I mean, everything I've learned, I've learned from the master himself. I didn't fish before Lance. Never met myself a fisherman. I don't know, ladies, if you ask me, going for a fisherman is the way to go. They're just straight to the point. You don't have to worry about them out there doing things, doing bad things. They're honest, they're loyal. They just wanna go out and catch some fish. Or maybe I just got lucky, I don't know. Whoa, got one. Got one, got one, got one. Oh, is it a big ball? There we go, gotcha. Hey, 
look at that. He's little, but I'll take him. I'm excited. I'm excited to have just seen him today. Good fishy, we'll get him back in the water. Whoop. catch anything and I've so far caught three different species <laughs> all right you I gotta I gotta learn how to hold you hold on I don't know how to hold you okay I think I squeeze you like this can I have that back please thank you <laughs> Three different species so far. I came out like, I don't even know what I want to get. It's my first time, I'm just gonna go. And uh, yeah, it's a unique way to hold a fish. I don't know if it's the proper way, but it's the way I'm holding them. There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Thanks, buddy. Peace out. Oh, he's slimy. Well, all right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's one o'clock and I'm getting hungry. Um, there were a few other spots that I wanted to try out here, but there is somebody there. So I'm going to let them have those fish. And I'm just going to try to complete the last challenge of today, which is getting the boat on the trailer for the first time by myself. Um, so it has been an exciting day doing a lot of firsts and I'm happy that I got three species into the boat. There was a lot of different experiences that I had, a lot of up and downs on my emotions. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it. So I miss having my partner in crime out here, but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to be out here and kind of navigate myself and figure out where things are and everything looks really different without him. So I'm ready to go in, veg out for a little bit and decide what I want to do for my next ride. So, thanks for watching. I did it. I did it. I did it on the second try. I'll take it.